Wisconsin, and uh, we're going to be working on some one-on-one -on -one coaching today. I kind of thought it would be interesting to bring you along and show you what goes into a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, kind of what I'm looking for, what kind of things I like to work on, that sort of stuff, to give you a little insight into how I try to coach and teach drivers that I'm working with. It's a beautiful day out. Sun is out, 75 degrees, couldn't really ask for much better weather. They said it was supposed to rain, but I, I don't know if it's actually going to rain. It does, I can't possibly see how it could rain right now, but there is rain forecast, so I, I hope we get at least some work in today. I don't know how many hours exactly we're going to be out here, but um, this is going to be a little bit of a refresher course. I've worked with this driver before, so um, we both kind of know what to expect. A lot of it's going to be going over... Um, the basics again a little bit as a refresher and then I think we're gonna dive into some more advanced technique stuff with him this driver is he's got some experience under his belt now he's been racing for a couple of years and he's starting to do some more traveling racing so he wants to brush up on his skills a little bit and see if he can't get a little bit further up the pack in those bigger races that he's starting to travel to we're pulling up here in a minute and uh, we'll see you soon All right, we'll just do like, um, you know, go out there, get a couple warm-up laps, and then do like three to five hot laps until you feel you got a couple of good ones in, and then come on in. I'll wave you in if, you start, if you're out there too long. But uh, yeah, if, if you want to do about five laps, then, then we can kind of get a good baseline of where we're at. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll be out there probably watching you. So, cool. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. Cool. Almost there. Hey, get the gas back up. Yeah. Oh. You good? I think it's doing something. terrible he starts on the right spot like I kind of want to aim for the outside tires to be the six inches to uh, six inches to a foot below that edge okay of that concrete okay and you kind of want to start there bring it through and then apex right around here okay so he's out there but he's turning in pretty sharp right away right so he's getting in too low okay How'd that feel? Good. You were really cooking out there. A little bit too high on that last lap a couple times. But um, otherwise it looked all right. How'd you feel about it? Oh, it felt good. Okay. There was um, a little bit we need to talk about in the hairpin. Um, the boot looks really good, actually. 
actually. Your dad was like, we need to go look at the boot. And I went and looked at the boot and it looks pretty great. So I don't really have any complaints about the boot. Um, but we can talk about the hairpin. Otherwise I thought it looked okay. We'll talk about the hairpin and then if the video camera, I don't know if it recorded. It says zero zero on it. But that's okay. We, we still got stuff that we can work with for this one. So we'll talk about that and then we'll, uh, we'll come back out and work on it. All right. Go. Hop on out. All right, round number two. So we took a look. We saw that he was turning in a little bit too early here in the hairpin. So we discussed it. We picked out some marks that he should aim for that might help him get into that corner a little bit better. And now we're going to see if he's doing it any better this time. And then I'm going to go look at some other corners too. So we'll get a good read on how he's looking on the whole track. But so far he seems to be understanding what I'm talking about, which is which could be kind of half the battle on some of these younger kids. You tell them what to do and then they just look at you like they have no idea what's going on. But Eddie's a pretty sharp kid. He he uh, takes direction well, he takes coaching well, so that's good. So let's see as he comes around what he's doing. a little bit too early on that one but not too bad you could tell he was slowing down a little bit coming into that corner which is good that shows that he's focused on trying to hit that mark before anything else so I think that's good we'll head down here to this other corner and see if we can uh, see how he's doing in the sweeper that was better that was better I like that That corner looks good. That corner looks pretty good. Oh, big rip. All right, let's take a look at no man's land here. That looks pretty good too. Half the battle here is going to be consistency. Saw that he can hit that corner right, especially he can hit the top of the boot right here too, but the problem is he had the huge slide right there, so that's just consistency. It takes some time to get used to it, especially when you're learning new lines and stuff. Not bad, maybe a little bit early there on turn in, but not too bad. Put my 360 camera right there on the apex. Let's see if he destroys it or not. Pretty good. trusty cones here. We're gonna go set up some cones on some apexes and some turning points. And that should help him figure out where he's gotta put the cart a little bit better. Apex cone. Entry cone. We're just gonna kinda work on the hairpins here. I think he's got pretty much every other corner dialed in pretty good. So we looked at some data, we looked at some video, and uh getting a little bit faster actually, but yeah, 
just some consistency and a little bit here and there. And I think he'll be pretty good. I think I jinxed it. I didn't think it could possibly rain with how nice it was out here and it is sprinkling right now. But uh, hopefully we can get a couple laps of these cone drills in before it really starts raining. As it starts raining right now as I'm standing out here. So uh, maybe we wait. I don't know. Too slippery. Too slippery. Of course it stops raining as soon as he comes in though. Slippery? Yeah, there's like no, not like Yeah, that's what I was. It started raining as soon as you went out. And now it's kind of stopped, but it's still sprinkly, so it's going to be pretty wet. All right. Well, we waited a little while to see if it would stop raining, and it is non stopping raining, so I think we are done for the day. Which kind of sucks. We got a couple sessions in, though, and we learned a little bit, I think. So it wasn't a total loss, but I uh, would have liked to have a little bit more time. The shoes are soaked. We get our cones. Continue. We debated on going out there on rain tires and doing some rain practice, but 
it really wasn't raining hard enough to get anything meaningful out of it, and it would have been just probably too confusing. Uh, it's a lot of things to work on. You're trying to remember how to drive the dry line, hit those points, those marks, and then you go out there in the rain and everything's completely different. So I didn't want to really ruin what we had already learned in the first two sessions. So we decided that since it didn't look like it was going to be letting up in terms of rain for the rest of the day, we'd just call it quits there and probably schedule something in the future again uh, to work a little bit more with those guys. It's nice to keep working with the same people over and over because you build up a sort of rapport and communication system with them and you guys get to know each other better and better and it makes it easier to coach them and they, um, they have an established idea of what you're looking for and you have an established idea of what they need so it can be really good to keep working with the same coach over and over. Um, I also got to pop in and see uh, Jamie and the guys at Franklin. They stopped by the track. They were setting up while I was leaving so uh, it was nice to see those guys too quick. Hopefully uh, it was a little bit helpful for you guys to get an idea of what a one-on-one -on -one coaching day is like. Uh, I like to keep it pretty chill. Uh, it should be a fun day at the track. Even if you're trying to work on stuff I think it should still be fun so that was accomplished today but yeah thanks for coming along with me and